Good morning from Nassau, Bahamas. This is our first stop on a seven night cruise, but let me explain how we got started. Yesterday we boarded Celebrity Beyond. We're here for the Celebrity Beyond group cruise. It's myself, Bill from Cruise Habit, and Jay from Ship Life, who's, I don't know, I just woke up. Hence the patented Cruise Habit morning voice. Uh, so we're on a seven night Western Caribbean cruise. Yesterday we boarded um, and uh, toward the ship a little bit. It did rain quite a lot right around sail away. So I put a damper on plans, but we still had a good time. I'm gonna time hop just a little bit uh, to call out that something happened with a bunch of my day one footage. So that's why we're starting at day two. Just know uh, on day one, uh, let's see, we got to the ship, smooth check-in at Terminal 25 in Port Everglades. We're curb to, to ship in maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes, if that. Um, Sail away was lovely, but as I mentioned in this video, rainy, and uh, just kind of explored the ship and walked around. We did in the evening go to Cosmopolitan for dinner. That's one of the uh, mo many complimentary dining venues here on Celebrity Beyond. Had a great meal there. Always have dessert. Enjoy the carrot cake there. I like that. And then we uh, we checked out a few different entertainment options. Ended up hanging out at the World Class Bar, which is a bar we'll talk about probably in another video, but uh, you can find on uh, some celebrity ships, the Solstice Class ships specifically, as well as Celebrity Beyond. And then we went to the nightclub, which was a little bit dead, to be honest, but it's embarkation day. Um, so I'm thinking that today, which is a sea day, we'll probably be a little more hopping there. All right. Back to what we did in Nassau, or wherever I'm cutting this in. So I'm going to be talking uh, a bit about some of the differences between Celebrity Edge and Apex sister ships to this and Celebrity Beyond, because there are some significant differences. And here's actually one of them, the whole layout and shape and size of the Grand Plaza. But right now, we are heading right over there. That is where we'll find Le Grand Bistro a uh, French specialty restaurant, and also where they uh, provide a breakfast for Captain's Club members, I think Elite and Up. Uh, so just a good place to have breakfast where it's a little quieter than the other dining rooms. For whatever reason, cruise ships just can't do bagels right. So I actually got salmon with a croissant and some berries. Let's head ashore in Nassau. Destination Gateway is the uh, embarkation area on the ship. It's also where they launch tenders from sometimes. On shore, we've got uh, Carnival Mardi Gras next to us, and in front of us is Celebrity Reflection. There she is, Celebrity Beyond. That cool parabolic axe bow. They've been doing some major construction at this port. I don't think that building's open yet, but it has a very spaceship kind of look to it, doesn't it? It is hopping here today, I guess, with, uh, what was the total, five ships? You just watched that clip, so you can probably tell me. But uh, they, they've got a lot of the construction. There's so much more done than last time, but a lot of it's not open yet, so the routing is a little strange and it crowds a little bit, but it's temporary and we got through it in just a couple minutes. Now we're going to head to Pirate Republic Brewing. Just ahead, if I could figure out how to flip the camera. There you go. We had a nice time at Pirate Republic uh, Brewing. I realized I didn't, I don't think I took any video. Maybe, maybe I did, but I got some pictures. I'll put those up. We're heading back to the ship because I want to enjoy some of the ship and we're sailing away early today. It's, we still have a couple hours here, but, uh, but what's crazy, I wish I had like a, a stick to put this up on behind us is a crazy backup of people. There are quite a few ships in here. Uh, a breakaway class ship uh, just came in, um, but it's, it's wild. Now, a lot of this I think is because there's still the construction here and surrounding people in a strange way. Back on board, I wanted to walk over and check out the Sunset Bar. It's so neat on this ship and very different than the other Edge Series ships. Uh, I also wanted to maybe hit one of these infinity pools nearby, but that, uh, that doesn't look good. It's already starting to rain, in fact. Maybe we've got through the bad weather for now. Things are, are looking a bit better, well, at least in some directions. Uh, the rain has stopped, so just taking a little stroll here past the Sunset Bar. Um, there we are. Sunset Bar is a, uh, a beautiful area 
on the aft. You've got all these cool seating areas. And it leads to the rooftop garden, which I love. It's a really neat space just to, sometimes they'll have like cornhole here. They might have concerts and on beyond. There's actually two infinity pools as well. Not bad looking out here. Walked over to the solarium, which on Beyond, I think is a little bit different than Edge and Apex. I think the hot tubs are maybe on this side rather than the far side on Edge and Apex. It's a nice space though. It's completely enclosed, so it's climate controlled. It's very serene in here. There's even, it's not open right now, but Spa Cafe is over here. And that's a uh, good spot for healthy breakfast. And I think they do smoothies and a few other things. We just enjoyed a show here in the theater on Celebrity Gone. And man, the theater on this ship is really impressive. In fact, all of the Edge class ships have a neat theater. We've got this, uh, this, this I don't know how many degrees, but it, a very wide, wide screen and these panels move and the, the parts of the stage can go up and down and the ceiling can come down and it, it creates a really cool experience, very vivid. And in fact, on Apex and Beyond, it's even more vivid than on Edge because the Edge uses, I think, maybe rear projection or Z's or LED, something like that. Don't hold me to it. Anywho, tonight's show was uh, Arte. I don't know if they pronounce it Arte or Arte. Um, and it was sort of the... Uh, one of these kind of mashup shows that celebrity doesn't always do. I call it a playlist show sometimes, which isn't a bad thing, but it's not as if there's like a cohesive storyline. But what made this a little bit uh, more unique is the the pop songs that they're going through with really neat dancing and a lot of aerial acts, really neat choreography, um, some cool some cool props. There's a, a car, a, a mini out there right now. You can see behind me. Um, they all, e each mm, set or, 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 or part of the show um, had, of course, the music went along with it, but it also corresponded to a different famous work of art or famous artist. And in fact, at the very beginning, um, the whole background shows some of these famous works of art and they're kind of coming to live. It's a very playful show. Talented folks, a lot of fun to see. I got to say, and not to take anything away from the performers who are wildly talented and love watching them, but the, the, the tech in the theater is often the... Uh, the, the star in this type of show, and we all had a good uh, good time. Now it's uh, time for dinner. After the show, we definitely need something to eat. Uh, we don't have too much time because things are gonna start closing, so we're, we're over here in front of Cyprus. There are four sort of main restaurants. They're not main dining rooms because they do have unique parts of the menu in each and unique decor, really neat concept. You can go to any of them. Um, depending on which dining plan you have, we'll talk about that later. But uh, Cosmopolitan, Cyprus, Normandy, uh, and Tuscan. So those are the four. We're gonna head into Cyprus, which as you can guess by the name, is a uh, Greek or Mediterranean theme. Oh, We're having dinner at Cyprus, one of the main dining uh, restaurants here. And this is some sort of melted cheese dish that I'll never be able to pronounce. Got for my main course an eggplant dish. Larissa got some sort of pasta dish here. Larissa did not get any dessert. So I ordered two. It's a phyllo tulip now, what thing, an the apple crumble. They had now we're gonna head into what is truly my favorite venue on any cruise ship, period. Um, and it's an unusual walk into it. It's a little bit different on each of the uh, ships. A little disorientating, but that's kind of the idea. And we're gonna come through out to a, a chocolatier, which is excellent. Had some of that, uh, had some of their chocolate yesterday. And Blue, which is a restaurant for those staying in Aqua class suites, and then a, uh, I think a Mont Blanc shop. But then, and already we see some of the transformation occurring, we're going to enter Eden. We see the, the plants already, and we see the Eden sign ahead. And Eden is a multi purpose venue um, that is just so unique for, for several reasons. For one, uh, all of the plants that you're gonna see in Eden are live plants. They have to water them, even though there's like moss on the walls, all live. 
that's uh, that in and of itself is a, a pretty interesting thing. Now, there are windows all around the back of the ship. If you've seen uh, 270 on Royal Caribbean, some Royal Caribbean ships, kind of a similar thing with the windows. There's an event in here right now, so I might have to show you guys around later, but uh, beautiful place day and night. There's a restaurant, especially restaurant. There is a complimentary cafe, a bar that it's, in my opinion, the best bar on the ship. Uh, lots of uh, entertainment options. It's a very cool space. We'll walk in here just a little bit further and then uh, I don't want to disturb folks so we'll just show you around more later on the sailing. But it's such a neat space. Like I said, I didn't get to quite show you around because there's a show starting here shortly. <laughs> but what I did is uh, I actually found Larissa on a seat up top. So this is where I walked in off to the right there. And that's the bar. I need to... Uh, I need a drink. I think there's a bartender right here. Back from the show in Eden Decadence. Uh, don't mind the uh, the abyss behind me. We'll get to that in a moment. The show was cute. Uh, Eden, yeah, in its its first uh, versions, very early on on Celebrity Edge, had a, a show called Revelation that I absolutely loved. Thought it was the greatest thing ever because um, there was kind of a, a neat feel and ambiance to it. Uh, but within it, they had acrobats and hand balancers and, and dancing. And um, this was a completely different show in that it was more of a sort of a tongue in cheek cabaret sort of thing with a big focus on the, the champagne and that, well, the decadence, right? That's the name of the show. And within that, there were a lot of really talented folks. Uh, the, the dancers were, were great and we got to see some, some aerial acts, uh, hand balancer in there. So that, that was, uh, it was fun. Uh, relatively short, I think, but it, it was an enjoyable thing. And then um, I wanted to enjoy Eden a little bit after that, but they, they closed the Eden bar right after that. It was kind of a bummer. So after that, went out, um, walked around the ship for a little while, uh, headed over to the Martini bar. Really, I was sitting editing this video that you're watching today. So it wasn't that exciting, but uh, had, had a lovely day, a lovely first full day. Tomorrow is a sea day. And hopefully the weather's going to be better, but I do like a little motion in the ocean, and that's what's behind me. We are rocking a ton. You guys probably can't, uh, can't really see there, but it is quite rocky. You can't even, yeah, it's hard to get a, a, a good uh, read on it visually, but yeah, the ship's creaking, which I love, and I'm hoping to get rocked to sleep, and looking forward to a sea day tomorrow. Well, that is a much better view than the uh, past couple days with rain. Looks like a gorgeous sea day. Slept later than I intended, but I woke up with a delightful surprise. It shouldn't have been a surprise. Uh, and that's that the ship's time changed uh, overnight. So uh, I'm gonna go get some coffee and uh, check out the outside. Um, ooh, you know what? We could actually get some fresh air if we wanted right now in an infinite veranda. Look at that. Can just lower that. So I'm gonna go get that coffee. Um, and you know what? I will explain. Let me explain the whole time change thing for those not familiar because sometimes when you're on a ship, the time changes. Sometimes it doesn't. Usually at night, not always. But before I do, do me a favor. Check out the, uh, the link below. This trip, as are others, is made possible by our friends and partners at Touring Plans Travel. They help us travel smarter. They can help you to get more information and a free quote. The link below, cruisehabit.com slash help. Walking along deck 14 here, uh, magic carpet coming up on the right, really cool venue that uh, we'll be showing off in other videos. Uh, talk about that time change real quick. So what happens is when the ship goes to an area where the time uh, ashore is different, then depending on a couple factors, how different, like if you're doing a transatlantic, they're always gonna change the time, usually a little bit every night. Um, but in the case we're going to uh, Mexico, time's just one hour off right now. Sometimes the captain will decide to change the ship time. Sometimes they don't. In this case, they did. So that means that uh, the ship is going to be on local time. They'll always put something in your room, put notifications in the app. They'll remind you on announcements. It's important to pay attention to that kind of thing because obviously you don't want to uh, be on the wrong time. We have an article about that explaining uh, more about time changes, the other ways that they can be executed. You can find that in the links below. We've arrived. This is the Ocean View Cafe. Going to uh, gonna get some breakfast. This is the latest place you can get breakfast. They're open today, I believe, until 11 a.m. It's 10 a.m. Um, there are a bunch of other spots, but they generally close uh, at 10. So 
I'm gonna see what the options are, and importantly, once I sit down, ask for an espresso. Breakfast time. Vegetarian eggs benedict, some potatoes, some fried rice. It's like a uh, cheese blintz and they had caramelized banana, but I'm still waiting on the star of the show. When you sit down at Ocean View, whether it's for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, um, there's staff walking around to get you bar drinks or uh, coffee, things like that. And they've actually got a couple bars and a coffee shop, which is better on this ship, it makes it a little quicker for them, but they'll walk around and get, uh, and get you anything you want. Today on the Sea Day, we're doing a bar crawl for those in the group, or maybe anyone that we pick up along the way. We started off at the World Class Bar. World Class Bar is unique uh, because the it, it, it's so named because of the World Class Bartender Competition sponsored by Diageo, uh, the largest and maybe most monopolized name in spirits. Uh, so uh, awesome craft cocktails up there. It's one of the that's where you find like some really amazing mixologists. Now we're heading to the Martini Bar right there in the Grand Plaza. We're continuing on our bar crawl. We're entering Eden. Eden is my favorite space on any ship. In this video at this point, I might have said it nine times. I don't know, but I love Eden. And now, now that it's daytime, you can see the beautiful views, the natural lighting, the plants in here, really cool. But they also have my favorite cocktails on the entire ship here at the Eden Bar. The you guys ever seen that like giant goldfish video? You know what I'm talking about. Lauren, are you enjoying the bar crawl? <laughs> oh man, look at the blue. That is excellent. That's gorgeous, gorgeous colors. <laughs> we have survived the bar crawl so far. Heading to the very last stop here at the Sunset Bar. Look at the color of the water, guys. It is gorgeous out. So much better than yesterday. Let's see what we have to, uh, to drink over here. Okay, marathon bar crawl is over. Sure about any wind noise. I don't think I have a uh, wind thing on here. But uh, yeah, that was good. It, Beyond has, like other celebrity ships, especially Edge Series, has some great, really unique bars. I, the Sunset Bar is um, is just so fantastic on this ship. It's, uh, it's a really good outdoor space. And now we're walking past uh, Rooftop Garden. And, uh, and that's beautiful as well. I might need uh, a little snack slice of pizza, perhaps, and a dip in the pool to recover before the evening. Had to make a quick pit stop after the uh, bar yeah. crawl. No, yeah. Got some pizza. I don't, I don't like cold. I don't like cold water. Justin just put his toe. Just, 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 oh. When's the last time you did a polar plunge? Give me the date. A polar? Is that some sort of ice cream thing? Could be. Could be. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous sunset as uh, our day at sea, our daytime at sea starts to come to an end. Just hung out in one of these infinity pools over here uh, at rooftop and really had a, a, a nice time just relaxing, taking in everything that a sea day should be, which is, in my opinion, for me personally, doing nothing. Uh, I made somewhat spontaneous dinner reservations right over to my left, in fact, at Rooftop Garden Grill. It's a specialty restaurant, so we'll be checking that out in a little while. Gotta, gotta clean up for, for the evening first. Time to head back to the stateroom to get ready for dinner, but I decided to take a stroll and kind of take the long way and check out Sunset Bar in the evening. There's a live guitarist somewhere. I'm not sure where she actually is, but I hear the music playing around here. I think she might, oh, there she is. So I'm gonna ship off in the distance. I love Rooftop. Rooftop is just, I mean, look at this. You could sit out there. Right now they're showing sports. Sometimes there's live music. Sometimes it's just people hanging out. But what a great spot. Unique. Unoccupied martini glass hot tubs. And well, the one over there is occupied, but this one isn't. Well, the sign said it was closed, but clearly not. Here on the magic carpet now, it's positioned off deck five. Saw a couple birds going by. 
It's beautiful. Watching the sunset in the distance. This ship is just stunning at night. Look at this resort deck. The lighting is so cool. Martini glass hot tubs there. We we're just over at the magic carpet a second ago and that's gorgeous as well. Here at Rooftop Garden Grill, we just got our food. I went with the uh, vegetable kebabs, but we got a whole variety. We've got various meats, seafood, some Branzino. Time to eat. That was quite a meal over at uh, Rooftop Garden Grill. Um, it's $45 per person. Doesn't matter what you order, aside from drinks, but if you have a drink package, then it uh, covers those. Um, if you're with a group of really more than six, I would say just have them bring a little bit of everything for you. But it was, uh, it was a good meal. Um, even though it's uh, kind of a grill thing, as a vegetarian, I think you'll find uh, plenty of stuff or pescatarian, then you're really in good shape. Uh, for me, worth, uh, worth 45 bucks, nice experience, and really nice, a nice venue here compared to the other ships. Now we are back in Wonder. Tonight is Wonder Eden Dreams, and it's a very much kind of an Alice in Wonderland looking thing. We didn't get to see the show. It ran on Celebrity Apex, I believe, when we were on a year ago, but because of COVID at the time and things, they weren't able to run this show, so I'm very excited. All right, so I'm ordering a garden. What, what's your name? I can't Rasha. see your take. Rasha? Rasha. Rasha I, uh, is here. She just brought my garden, which is one of the signature uh, cocktails here at Eden. It's my favorite, because it's like you're having a salad while you're drinking, so it's healthy, it's healthy. right? So uh, I'm going to spin the camera on with a little more light and show you how it's presented. Give it a good spin with that big cube in there. Look at all the foliage. Okay, herbs, but we're going to go with foliage. And out of, a, uh, out of a planter or a watering can, whatever that's called, I'm not a gardener. But you are having a garden. Getting ready to start the show. All right, we're out of the Eden show, and uh, it was another good show. Like last night, it was uh, about the performances, and they kind of wrap it in a, a little bit of storyline. More of a storyline, I think, tonight. It was an uh, Alice in Wonderland-ish theme. Uh, enjoyable. We had great seats. Um, Definitely, Eden is not a huge venue. Like, it is a big venue in terms of space, but it's not a traditional theater, so it's not seat dense. Um, definitely, you know, try and get there a little bit early if, uh, if you can. Uh, had, a, had a great time, though. Enjoyed that and got some great bar service right to our seats while we were there, which bar, the uh, bar crawl earlier today um, proved that I love the Eden cocktail. So now I'm going to head, I'm just pacing at this point, I'm going to head over to the club, which is the name of the club and see what's going on. We don't dock in uh, Costa Maya until 11 o'clock tomorrow, which is a little weird. We're going pretty slow. I'd love to get there a little bit earlier, have some more time. At the same time, unfortunately, our group excursion was canceled because there's a lot of seagrass there uh, with this giant, I don't know, there's a, an algae thing, like as long as the United States is wide. It's, but I'm sure we're gonna figure out tomorrow, have a great time. For now though, I'm going into the club. You better drink it, you better not throw up. Let's go, three, two, one, hey! We've time traveled. We left off in the club last night and we were there all night until they shut it down in fact. So we got up really late today, uh, but we actually didn't dock uh, here in Costa Maya, Mexico until uh, about, uh, about noon actually. So we're just taking it easy. Uh, our initial plans in port Unfortunately, didn't work out. Some things were canceled because of uh, some seagrass issues locally. So I don't know what we're gonna do with the day, but to find out what we do today and in Cozumel and Grand Cayman and on our sea day and on the rest of our Celebrity Beyond cruise, you're gonna have to watch part two of this video series. So make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell and follow along for the next video. We'll put links to that and other content down below. Thanks for watching.